This is a fresh experience. We're here today at Anderson University where we're going to meet with Chef James who is going to teach us about a new product called Quimic and show us how he incorporates it into his menu. Well James, thanks for having us here today. I'm excited to learn how to cook with Quimic. So before we start, will you tell me a little bit about the product? Yeah, so Quimic is uh, heavy cream and milk based with a tapioca starch thickener and it's um, really easy to use. It's kind of like a reduced heavy cream, so it's easy to use for making sauces and soups. So what are we going to be making today? So we're going to be making a pan seared salmon dusted with five spice. It's going to get a shiitake mushroom and sun-dried tomato cream sauce. All right, let's get started. All right. I love shiitake mushrooms. They're uh, like a Japanese mushroom and they got a lot of uh, flavor to them. And they're actually really good for you. They're supposed to be very heart healthy. We're going to add a little bit of canola oil, a little bit of shallot. So the, the first place I learned how to do the sauce was with my original chef, my mentor chef. Um, at a country club, and it was sun-dried tomatoes, shiitake mushroom cream sauce. It take about an hour to reduce down. So, like this Quimic sauce, you can make it in about 15 minutes. Wow! So it's a lot quicker. It saves a lot of time. Yes. So what I'm doing is I'm adding the sun-dried tomatoes. That's gonna give a little bit of sweetness to it. I'm gonna go ahead and add my shiitake mushrooms there. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna add a little bit of white wine to it. Oh yeah, it's really awesome stuff. So I added wine and I added the cream. To it and usually when you add alcohol to cream stuff it'll split with Quimic. You can add alcohol to it and, and it will not break. So we've got that going. We're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice to it as well. And this is the Quimic sauce base, this right? Is, yeah, this is the Quimic sauce base. So a little bit more shallots. We add some uh, asparagus to that. I've just chopped up a little bit on the bias. I'm gonna go ahead and add some rice. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, sun-dried tomatoes again, kind of reinforce that sun-dried tomato flavor once, once again. A little bit of salt. And then this is the, the bacon that, uh, from Smoking Goose. So it's a lamb bacon, and it's uh, really awesome. It's, uh, it's not real strong. It doesn't have a super strong lamb flavor. We're going to add a few bits of that. So it's kind of like a surf and turf. So we got the salmon, and then we've got yeah. a little bit of the lamb bacon in that. So that's going to be a, on a bed of that. So it's kind of a surf and turf play on that. Block, the butter sauce, and it usually has a lot of a whole lot of butter in. So mm -hmm. we're only going to add half as much as what we normally add to regular Berblanc. And again, if you put that much, usually when you put that much butter in with cream, mm -hmm. it'll split the sauce. But with Quimic, you don't really have to worry about that. So if you had to give this dish a name, what would it be? Five spice crusted salmon on a bed of wild rice with smoking goose bacon with a sun-dried tomato shiitake mushroom cream sauce. Okay. That's really good. Sorry if I get in there? Oh yeah. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Alright Alex, I hope you save room for dessert. I always have room for dessert, James. We've got some chocolate for you here. So what we've got here is uh, the chocolate pate with a little bit of passion fruit sauce, amaretti biscuits, and um, a little bit of strawberry and micro mint. The Quimic is not, it's not, it doesn't change the texture like you would with the cream. It's mm -hmm. still nice and creamy, so it's not a different, whole different texture altogether. So it's nice. Well, James, thanks for having us today and for teaching us how to use Quimic and giving us some chef secrets. And uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you, my pleasure. Thanks for joining us again. It's been another great episode of A Fresh Experience. See you next week.